Shalom everyone, my name is Matemba Pazri. Welcome to Kingdom Living Time with my dad, Apostle Paul. Hashtag Born to Worship. Keep on watching. Shalom friends, Matemba Power here. First Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 18 goes, In all things give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. The Greek words for in all things are and pass. Pass is a very interesting way. It actually includes all forms of declensions. This talks about all, every, any, whatsoever, whosoever. In other words, it deals with the different levels of life we face as we journey through life. In other words, in any situation, in all conditions, whatsoever you may be facing, whosoever you may be, never lose the kingdom principle of being thankful unto God. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you and I. We're talking about whether you are married or not married, learn to be thankful. Whether you're blessed financially or not, learn to be thankful. Whether you're blessed with the fruit of the womb or not yet, still be thankful. Whether you have parents or not, still be grateful. Whether you are considered a person of influence and highly respected or people think you're a nobody, still find a way to be thankful to God in that very situation. No matter where you may be, no matter where you are, no matter who you may be, never allow the enemy to take away the principle of being thankful to God. The Bible gives the reason why we should be thankful. For this is the will of God. The word will in the Greek is the word thelema. It has quite a number of words surrounded to it that are worth outlining, though we may not be able to define all of them in this segment. One, thelema means determination. Number two, thelema means purpose. Number three, thelema means decree. Number four, it means choice. Number five, it means pleasure. Number six, it means decree. Seven, it means inclination. It means the will of God. Let's go through that text with those words in mind. In any situation, no matter whom you may be, wherever you may be, whatever you may be facing, be thankful unto God, for this is the determination of God. This is the purpose of God. This is the desire of God. This is the pleasure of God. This is the choice of God. This is the decree of God. This is the inclination of God. This is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you and I. My brother, my sister, let's look at maybe one or two. The word determination, according to Google search, simply means firmness of purpose. That simply says when it comes to the matters of being appreciated for the goodness that God has done, he is firm when it comes to that purpose. In other words, God is immovable when it comes to him receiving gratitude. The second word is the word purpose. And I will honor Dr. Miles Monroe because he took a quite deal of time dealing with the issues of purpose in the different subjects that he taught in the kingdom. Purpose simply means the original intent. This is quite interesting for me and you because the original intent, the purpose, is always in the mind of the creator of a thing. He predetermines the reason, the purpose for the manufacturing or the creation of a thing before that thing is in place. And when that thing is in place, it must fulfill its reason for existence. So why are you saying, man of God? Because you and I ought to understand that before we were born, we were in God. Psalms 90 verse 1 says in the Hebrew language, Hadonai ma'on ata ahitalanu verdor verdor. Which simply means, God, it seems you have been our home forever. Before we stepped into time, on our journey through time into eternity, we abode in him. And before we stepped in here, one of the things I believe spoke to our spirits is, no matter what you will face inside time, whether you face ups or downs, whatever the vicissitudes of life you will face, Never forget my reason for creating you. Be thankful. 
Why should I be thankful, man of God? Because the God that we're dealing with is all-knowing. He is all-present. He is all-powerful. He knows what you're facing. Apply the principles that he has set in place, including the principle of gratitude. And I tell you, by God's grace, you will feel the load being removed and there will be a way for you. And I pray that the Lord will bless you. May he keep you. May his face shine upon you. May he give you peace. May his countenance be on you, even as you face life. And you will smile in Jesus' name. Shalom. Thank you so much for taking your time to listen. Before you sign out, would you mind to subscribe, click the notification button, drop your comment, like the video, and share. And also, look at the 18 materials that the Lord has given me grace to contribute in the past two decades, both as written material and also music series, available for a very beautiful special gift. Thank you so much. Shalom, and have a fruitful and god fearing life. Only, <laughs> <laughs>